I've hoped to meet you for some time, Lord Stark. No doubt Lady Catelyn has mentioned me. She has, Lord Baelish. I understand you knew my brother Brandon as well. <laughs> All too well. I still carry a token of his esteem, from navel to collarbone. Perhaps you chose the wrong man to duel with. Well, it wasn't the man that I chose, my lord. It was Catelyn Tully, a woman worth fighting for. I'm sure you'll agree. When you find yourself in bed with an ugly woman, best close your eyes, get it over with. Cut her throat, be done with it. Do you know what I learned losing that duel? I learned that I'll never win. Not that way. That's their game. Their rules. I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to fuck them. That's what I know. That's what I am. And only by admitting what we are can we get what we want. Brothels make a much better investment than ships, I've found. Whores rarely sink. There's only one dagger like this in all of the Seven Kingdoms. It's mine. Yours? I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. The Imp. Huh? A very funny man. Ned! Ah, oh. oh, the Starks. Quick tempers, slow minds. He's like a little brother to me, Ned. He would never betray my trust. I'll try to keep you alive for her sake. A fool's task, admittedly, but I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. I won't forget this. You're a true friend. Now look, there. That one belongs to the Queen. And do you see that scepter pretending to read her book? Larissa the Queen. No, she's one of mine. Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? Yes. The wiser answer was no, my lord. But Baelish, perhaps I was wrong to distrust you. Distrusting me was the wisest thing you've done since you climbed off your horse. Gold wins wars, not soldiers. And how come Robert is king, and not Tywin Lannister? What you suggest is treason. Only if we lose. Make peace with the Lannisters, you say. With the people who tried to murder my boy. We only make peace with our enemies, my lord. That's why it's called making peace. I did warn you not to trust me. I am a knight. I shall die a knight. A naked knight, apparently. <laughs> the Mockingbird. You created your own sigil, didn't you? Yes. Appropriate for a self-made man with so many songs to sing. I'm glad you like it. Some people are fortunate enough to be born into the right family. Others have to find their own way. Sometimes I've heard even brothers and sisters develop certain affections. And when those affections become common knowledge, well, that is an awkward situation, indeed. Especially in a prominent family. Prominent families often forget a simple truth. I found. And which truth is that? Knowledge is power. I am not tutored in warfare, but basic arithmetic favors the side with the greater numbers. If war were arithmetic, the mathematicians would rule the world. Tell me, Sir Loris, what do you desire most in this world? Revenge. I have always found that to be the purest of motivations. But you won't have a chance to put your sword through Stannis. Not today. You'll be cut to pieces before he sets foot on solid ground, if it is justice that you want. My lord, Lady Arryn and I have known each other since we were children. She has always been positively predisposed toward me. Are you successful? I owe you a significant debt. Our red-headed friend, you secured her release when the Queen detained her. A simple misunderstanding. Apparently, Her Grace believed that you two had some sort of special relationship. I did fuck her once. I know. But we don't. I know. 
I've always wanted a ship. Now I want a dozen. Strange, isn't it? What is? It doesn't matter what we want. Once we get it, then we want something else. Do all the lords and ladies simper and bow, the ones who sneered at you for years? It's hard for them to simper and bow without heads. Earlier today, I distinctly recall seeing you talking to Lord Stark in his chambers. What's that, you, under the bed? And not long after that, when I saw you escorting a certain foreign dignitary, council business. Of course, you would have friends from across the narrow sea. You're from there yourself, after all. We're friends, aren't we, Lord Varys? A grasper from a minor house with a major talent for befriending powerful men. And women. A useful talent, I'm sure you'd agree. So? Here we stand, in mutual admiration and respect, playing our roles, serving a new king. Long may he reign. I declare that you shall be granted the castle of Harrenhal, with all its attendant lands and incomes to be held by your sons and grandsons from this day until the end of time. You honor me beyond words, your grace. I shall have to acquire some sons and grandsons. <laughs> you have a tender heart. Just like your mother did at your age, I can see so much of her in you. She was like a sister to me, for her sake. I'll help get you home. King's Landing is my home now. Look around you. We're all liars here. Chaos is a ladder. Many who try to climb it fail. Never get to try again. The fall breaks them. And some are given a chance to climb. But they refuse. Only the ladder is real. The climb is all there is. He did it all for gold. Money buys a man's silence for a time. A bolt in the heart buys it forever. A man with no motive is a man no one suspects. Always keep your foes confused. If they don't know who you are or what you want, they can't know what you plan to do next. I'd risk everything to get what I want. And what do you want? Everything. Know your strengths, use them wisely. And one man can be worth 10,000. I do, Lord Baelish. Peter. Peter. Lord Baelish. Peter. Lord Baelish. Call me Peter. I have only loved one woman. <laughs> only one. My entire life. <laughs> Your sister. If they'd have executed you, what would they have done with me? I don't know. Neither do I. Better to gamble on the man you know than the strangers you don't. And you think you know me? I know what you want. Lord of the Vale. Robin Aaron is a sickly little boy. And sickly little boys sometimes become powerful men. More often, they die young. He's 13. Boys go to war at 13. He has other gifts. Does he? The gift of a great name. My name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Renly Baratheon. What did he say about you? He said, Your loyalty came free of charge. Someone appears to have paid quite a bit for it since then. Terrible things happen to your family and you weep. You sit alone in a darkened room mourning their fates. You've been a bystander to tragedy from the day they executed your father. Stop being a bystander, do you hear me? Stop running. There's no justice in the world. You loved your family. 
avenge them. Every ambitious move is a gamble. You gambled when you drove a dagger into Rob Stark's heart. It appears that your gamble paid off. The last time the Lords of the Eyrie formed an alliance with the Lords of the North, they brought down the greatest dynasty this world has ever known. Do you believe him, Uncle Peter? If we could trust his absolute loyalty, he would make a capable commander in the wars to come. You can trust my absolute loyalty, my lord. I think he deserves one more chance. What do you say? Fine. You have no idea how happy I am to see you unharmed. Unharmed? You want me to beg for my life? If that's what you want, I will. Whatever you ask that is in my power, I will do. What if I want you to die here and now? Then I will die. What do you want? I thought you knew what I wanted. I was wrong. No. You weren't. Every time I'm faced with a decision, I close my eyes and see the same picture. A picture of me. On the Iron Throne. And you by my side. I want you to be happy. I want you to be safe. I am safe. I'm at home, surrounded by friends. What about happy? Why aren't you happy? What do you want that you do not have? At the moment, peace and quiet. I love Sansa. As I loved her mother. <laughs> My sister, and I'll kill you myself. Don't fight in the north or the south. Fight every battle, everywhere, always. In your mind, everyone is your enemy. Everyone is your friend. Every possible series of events is happening all at once. Live that way and nothing will surprise you. To go through all of that and make your way home again only to find such chaos in the world. I can only imagine. Chaos is a ladder. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet you betrayed her. I loved you. More than anyone. And yet you betrayed me.